and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where tonight we're back here at the local park, of course, the Alton Towers Resort, for a visit to the roller coaster restaurant. It feels like ages since we last came to the roller coaster restaurant, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what's on the menu. We're not too sure what's <laughs> going to be on the menu because there's nothing on the website or anything. I think that could be worked on showing people what there is before they come and visit. Definitely, like they used to always list off like the full menu or at least a sample menu so you knew what was there, uh, but they don't now, so we're going to make our oh, get the wind and Nemesis <laughs> Reborn. And uh, yeah, we're going to make our way in. Of course, we'll show you the menu and uh, see what it's like. It's actually been just over two years since we were last at RCR, uh, so I'm looking forward to experiencing it. Now the restaurant is located here in Forbidden Valley, and in the daytime they offer a lunch menu, and where you don't need to pre-book, you can just turn up down here in the valley and make your way over without a booking. However, if you are coming for dinner, then you do need to make a reservation. That can be done through the Alton Towers website. And of course, it's the UK's first and only roller coaster restaurant where you dine, and yeah, it's really good fun with all the food coming down, the various different drops and loops. Galactica just over there, and then of course the restaurant is just over here at the back. So let's make our way over. And we're going to head inside with us going for dinner this evening. Six o'clock we're booked in for, so that's ride closed. We've made a reservation online, and that's free to do. You don't need to leave a deposit or anything like that. Uh, just make a reservation, and of course head down to the entrance, which is just over here, built in the former air shop, if you remember that. Comment down below if you remember going in the air shop. This is it, Roller Coaster Restaurant at the Alton Towers Resort. Also, of course, you've got like all the theme lighting and music in here, all the different sections based on the different roller coasters at the resort. And of course, with Nemesis Reborn reopening this year, um, they've actually updated the visuals in here. And I believe they've updated a lot of the videos and just lighting packages in general. So looking forward to seeing that. I'll tell you what does need an update though, the flickering light just over here. It's been like that since the start of the season a few weeks ago. So that needs sorting out. Or to be honest, what I would do uh, if you can't fix it initially, just turn it off temporarily because you wouldn't even know that there's uh, lights in there, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we're going to make our way in. I think, to be honest as well, they could do with a menu just on display out here, really. Yeah, like people want to see what they're eating before they're going in. It's so hard when you haven't got a menu out. Yeah, especially when they uh, haven't got anything on the website now. You just kind of have to turn up and just see what's on there. But yeah, let's go make our way inside. It's a great themed experience, this. Hey, here we are inside. And of course, as soon as you walk in, you're greeted with all the awesome lighting around, including all the strips there that are actually on the track itself. Kitchen just upstairs there, and then they attach the food on and push it down. The various different drops, you've got the loops above us just here as well. It's such a great themed experience. Nice little bar area over there, and you've got all sorts of artwork on the walls. 13 just over there, the old air shop down there at the bottom. Corkscrew on there as well. I do like all the visuals, and then we've got the projectors on the walls, and that's where they do the little theme shows in here. You've got a model of Wicker Man up there on the wall as well. It's awesome. Oh, there we go, some food just coming down on the track just up there. <laughs> well, these guys on this table have just finished eating, so I thought I'd come and give you a bit of a closer look over here at 13 on the wall, and the air shop just over there. But it's now the roller coaster restaurant. Really cool to see. And we're making our way now down to our table. So we're going to be down here at the back. Great view. Hey, so yeah, we've updated the different shows in here now. And that was the Galactica one just there. So all the lights went blue. And then Galactica visuals all on the side. Yeah, really cool. We'll see the different ones whilst we're in here dining tonight. Oh, here we go. On to the next one already. This is it, the Phalanx. It's a restricted area. Nemesis Reborn. Here we go. Oh, I'm loving these visuals. <laughs> the Phalanx bands in here. Oh, it's got the yeah, video there, the trap being delivered. Oh, that is awesome. Not seen it edited like this before. It's been done just for roller coaster restaurant. Wow. Yeah, it's on the big projection over there at the side as well. Oh, loving the Nemesis one. Here's Charlotte just over here. Hey. Yeah, so how does this work then now, Charlotte? So basically, we, you used to have tablets in here, so you'd order on a tablet, whereas now you have to scan the QR code and it will come that way and you just pay for it on your phones. Yeah, and if you've got an annual pass, just ask them for the discount and code. They'll we'll check your pass and, uh, and give you that. There we go. Oh, it's all gone very yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to the Smiler, but it's oblivion. Oh, there we go. 
And because of the one we're sat on, our food actually goes down through the loop as well, which is really cool. And I'll give you a little bit of close up look at all this on the walls a little bit later as well. Right, let's have a look at the menu. Ooh, got a bit of a remix soundtrack that's here for 13. Look at this. It's like a dance mix. Oh, I like thinking that. Very creepy, right? So we've scanned the QR codes, which are just here on the table. And let's have a little look through the uh, the menu just down here, shall we? So yeah, celebrations. Chocolate slice and a roller coaster restaurant bear. £13 just up there. Roller coaster restaurant bear family. A family of roller coaster restaurant bears, which include red, blue, and a pink bear. So these are like for birthdays, anniversaries, all that kind of stuff, and a few other different bears that you've got there. Right, onto the starters. We've got the Peri Peri chicken wings, they're pa priced at £7.45 with the smiler in the background, love it. <laughs> Buffalo uh, cauliflower bite, £7.45. Also, some vegetarian options there as well. Triple cheese starter. Chicken kofta bites, have I said that right? I think so. I think so. Chicken kofta. Now there's nachos there as well. So yeah, they're all priced at 7 45 for the starters just down there with a couple of vegetarian options. And you've got the kids starters there, you've got uh, mac and cheese and also kids nachos. They're both priced at 4 25 and are vegetarian as well. Of course, this menu is of April 2024. In terms of the main, smile always. Served in a black charcoal and glow dusted bun. So that's a, a, a beef burger, isn't it, really? Yeah. In around the smiler. Nemesis Reborn, fiery red tandoori chicken, mixed leaf topped with mint. You've got a standard cheeseburger just there as well. Beef patty served with a British shaped bun, mixed leaf, sliced red onion, and cheese and burger sauce. Yeah, standard Chinese cheeseburger. Southern fried chicken burger there. And they're all priced at $14.95. And then you've got these ones, which are a bit more expensive with the smiler and nemesis. I'm loving this update showing it by the way. Oh, I clicked off it. There we go. Oh, so if you click on it, it gives you more. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and then you can select all your size, that sort of thing. Barbecue and honey chicken tenders. The diced chilies, just there. Have I come further down or no? I know. Oh, no. That's it. Yeah, chicken burger. And the panko burger just there as well. So yeah, they're $15.95 for the tenders. Apple barbecue pulled pork. Wickerman chicken waffle, mm -hmm. 17.45. So of course it is more premium the price in here. We are paying for the experience. You get a 10 ounce gammon stateless there, 18 pounds. Curry chicken wings, 16.95. I do like wings. Falafel and salsa wrap, 14.95. Katsu chicken, Korean barbecue salmon just there, 18 pounds 15. And then you can get the cursed curry. Oh, I like how we got some themed I like options. The themed ones, it's good. Yeah, for the rise. Barbecue hunter's chicken. And then down here you've got the kids' main, so you've got uh, the kids' goujons just down there. I don't know if that, do these come with chips as well. Oh, yeah, there we go. So you can collect, you can select like different things on there that you can add to them as well. Cheeseburger, fish goujons, yeah, kids' meals are all eight pounds fifty just down there. Oh, food coming down. And then you can just get some sides if you want as well, or a light bite. So you can just get chips for three ninety five, beer battered onion rings three ninety five, mac and cheese house salad there, three ninety five and a few different options down there as well. Uh, you've got the desserts, but we'll leave them for now. We're going to uh, get our mains ordered, and we'll get them sent down. Of course, we'll show you the drinks as well at the Royal Coaster restaurants. Yeah, of course, we've got our different numbers here. I'm sat at number seven, Charlotte's out at number six, and then you put your numbers in, and of course, they all come down. Yeah, I'm loving how we've got Black Hole on here as well. Uh, just a uh, little throwback as well. Fantastic. Yeah, that's the mains menu in the Royal Coaster restaurant, 2024. Nice to be back. I can't believe it's been two years. So here we go. So we have got two Diet Cokes. I have had the Katsu Chicken Curry and I've added some macaroni cheese bites on there. Sean's had the barbecue and honey chicken tenders with chips and onion rings. And you can see there we have got our discount of £9.56. Yeah, so the total without discount, £38.72. That's for two mains, some sides each and two drinks. Yeah, it's quite expensive. Um, but you know what? You are paying for the full experience and we'll see what the food's like. Uh, considering we didn't know what the menu was going to be until we came in, quite, uh, you know, impressive what's on there, actually. 
actually. Yeah, it's not too bad. I like how they've got a lot of themed options, which is really nice to see. It's not just standard, they have thought about it. Yeah, it's all themed into the park, which is good. Got the plate just here. There used to be roller coaster restaurant branded plates. Um, yeah, they don't seem to be now. And then you just pick them off here, so this all spins round. You got your sauces just on there, and then of course you can spin it round this way and get like your knives and forks and things just there in the middle. Plenty of mayonnaise on there for Charlotte as well. And you get your serviettes. Yeah, they used to have like roller coaster restaurants logo on, but they don't seem to have that anymore. Things change, I guess, don't they? I do miss ordering on the tablets though. I think that was pretty cool when you used to order on them instead of on your phones. Well, nice, that's the order for food all in. We're just going to sit here now, relax, enjoy the ambience, and then of course the food's going to be coming down on the roller coaster track shortly. Yeah, you know, just behind, got the smile there, the Latka as well, and yeah, I do like all the theme lighting in here. Hey, here come the drinks. <laughs> it came down the track. I missed them coming down. I was looking at this Nemesis poster behind, and once you took them out, drops them down there into the end. There you go, two coats. I do like how they come in the glass bottles in here as well, and then you get the bottle owner just on this, just in the middle. Yeah, I was looking at this Nemesis poster behind. Camera's not liking the lighting over here, but you know what? It looks amazing in person with that old school Nemesis poster. And of course, with Nemesis Reborn, they brought back the old classic 1994 logo as well, which is good to see. Galactica up there, Thunderlooper that used to be down here. Comment down below if you experienced Thunderlooper here at Alton Towers. And you've got some more concept art just down here. The X Sector. So yeah, this view looks very different now because obviously the Smiler is off to the left hand side here. You see Black Hole is still in place there on that. And the food unit that is now just chicken down there. And this section is really cool over here because you can see the Smiler. Some more concept art. There you go. I wish it looked like that with ha 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 down at the side. Systems check just down there, the marmalizer. And you can also see 13 right next door just over here. This ended up looking just like the concepts are. Wow, and look at that. I remember when that got released actually. I've been so excited when we first saw that. Amazing. And some more theme and development just around here as well for Nemesis. And you can see some more classics up here. Oblivion under construction there, the top right. The Corkscrew Galacticus Portal, the old Nemesis logo. Amazing. And see some more just over here as well. Port Oblivion. Love seeing all this on the walls. What's my ex roller coaster restaurant? Really unique. Like I say, it doesn't show up the best on the camera with the lighting, where it looks so good in person. These have just left this table, so I thought I'd come over here and show you some of the other visuals on the walls. Look at that for the black hole. That's an amazing piece. Some content art for Oblivion just here next to it as well. Look at that. All the mist. <laughs> Get really close to the track just there on this bit. So yeah, they're all round tables apart from the long one over there and this one here. Just depending on your party. Love this. Dave, you be one of the first to try it. Alton Towers World First Ride, only in March 1998, course for Oblivion. The Smiler concept out there. Now remember this, Ride the Demon of the Dark Forest, Surrender, in March 2010 for 13. The Nemesis comic just there, I've actually got a copy of that back at the museum. Some air visuals there, the 2013 part logo with the Smiler, and Galactica just down there as well. Secret Weapon 5, words associated with it, like I love how much goes into the backstory of the ride. This is up there, of course, has to be five with air. And look at the seating arrangements on there. Fascinating to see. More Moo concept boards here for Dark Forest. And the smile up at the top. And you can see some more designs again here for the station. Are these the actual plans that were submitted to the council? I remember when they went in and we saw this overview for Corkscrew's replacement at the time. Like I say, I apologise about the flickering. I've looked at every setting on my camera every time I come here and it, the line just doesn't look great on camera. Secret Weapon 6, 13. I'm back over here then at the table. What you got then, Charlie? So I have gone for the macaroni cheese bites. These look really good. But this katsu chicken curry looks so nice. That's what it looks like when it goes through a loop. Moving <laughs> RTR. This smells so good. Yeah, there we go. It looks nice and saucy for you there as well, Charlotte. Lovely. And look at that. So you get a tub of sauce with those as well. Ooh, a little bit of good. salad. That's the thing with Royal Coaster Restaurant. You have to wait a little bit sometimes for food to come down uh, in between. I mean, that only took like 10 minutes after ordering. But sometimes you have to wait. It comes down in more containers doesn't it? Lovely, it's waiting for mine to come down now. Nice ambience. Love all the lighting. Yeah, see if we can catch it coming down. Here it comes. Hey. <laughs> Lovely. 
Hey, and here we go, just a couple of minutes later, here's mine, so we've got the chicken tenders, as you can see it's covered in barbecue sauce just there, it does smell very nice, and then I've got my chips just in there, and the onion rings as well, now of course if you wanted to, you can eat it out of these, however, they do provide the plates of course that you can put them onto I'm as well. completely best fighter. There you go, it looks quite nice, look at that you know, tuck in and enjoy in terms of portion size, pretty reasonable. And say, I mean, like I say, it's expensive, but you are paying for the overall experience in here. So, yeah, I'm gonna uh, probably tip these out onto the plate and then, of course, tuck in and enjoy it. And we'll get some more footage of the show. We're gonna be having a dessert in here as well, and we'll also go through the full drinks menu. I mean, we've just gone for Diet Coke, but we'll show you what's available there's cocktails, mocktails, and so much more. Life is a roller coaster. What a tune! Oh, oh, these are really good, very spicy, so nice. How's yours, Charlotte? Really, really good. Fantastic. Yeah, they're really good, really spicy. Got a little theme show going on. Hey! Beautiful. Now, normally I don't have sauce on things, but yeah, these are really good. They're really, really good. Nice and saucy. <laughs> The onion rings and here's the fries. There we go. The fries always taste really nice in here. Really good. Bit of a Galactica show going on. Yeah, the show tends to run like every 20 minutes or so in here. And in terms of food, we wait like 15 minutes maximum to come down. Not bad at all. That's not too bad at all. Sometimes you can expect to wait quite a while, but that's really quick service. Oh, Nemesis Reborn now. I'm loving the remastered video in here. It's great. Really nice. Big onion ring. There you go. <laughs> what I love in here is the atmosphere. That one's taking photos and videos, soaking it all in. Yeah, it's really nice, love it. Nemesis! <laughs> This remix, the 13 soundtrack. I'd never heard this before. Must have been custom made for all the of restaurant. This is great. Could request this in like a nightclub or something. The lighting package in here really makes it as well. <laughs> Just there. I thought that was really nice. It felt really good quality, and I'm quite full after that. I really enjoyed it. I wasn't as 
expecting five of them tenders. Like they were very saucy, but they were very nice. I could have got away with not having the side of onion rings. Um, Cause I'm full after just having like four of them. Um, no, they were really good. You can have a look at the drinks menu in just a second. And also the desserts, get some desserts. You can have one. I will have a dessert. Yeah, why not? See what those are like. Uh, but overall, really impressed. The service so far has been awesome in here as well. Hey, someone's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Hey, hey, to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday. All of our stuff, man. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Woo! Oh, I love that. Little special moments. Oh, what a great atmosphere in here. I love it. Great to be back in the roller coaster restaurants at Alton Towers. For those of you with the allergies, just thought I'd show you the menu here as well. You got like the chicken wings, 745, the falafel, and you've got a few different options down here on the mains as well. Allergy gum and steak, imperial wings just there, and you got some kids' ones as well egg and dairy falafel, chicken strips, corn, sausage just there as well, hunter's chicken. And then over onto the allergy dessert just there, where you just get a fruit jar. So yeah, not many options there on the desserts. There is for the starters and the mains. Right, let's go on to the drinks. So you've got a selection of draft and bottled beers. 7 50 up there for a Stella. Corona bottle, £6. Goose Island. And I'll scroll through all of them so you can see them there. Magnus, 8 25 Bear in mind, you do also get your discount if you're an annual pass holder. Whether it's having a platinum pass, it's 20%. Cocktails, £11. You've got Nemesis, Smiler just there as well. Vanilla vodka, beef eater gin. Oh, that sounds good. Strawberry daiquiri. I love cocktails, but I am driving tonight, so I've not had one. Hmm. Cuban cocktail. Passion fruit martini, £11. Yeah, all them are 11 quid for your cocktails. Classic mojito just there as well. Strawberry mojito, passion fruit. Really nice, yeah, quite a few cocktails. Onto your spirits just down here that you've got as well. Bear in mind, you do get your annual pass discount if you've got one and all of these. Grey Goose, £6.16. The Serrano, £5.16. Havana, the Archer's just down there, £10.10 .10 for 50ml. Malibu, £5.16. Yeah, lots of different options. And then we go on to the wines. I know a lot of people like a wine with the meal. £7.85 for 175ml glass. 250ml, £11 for the Merlot. You can get the bottle for £35.20. You want to there as well. And you just got by the glass or by the bottle. So, to be honest, if you're a group of you wanting to share a bottle, that might be your best option. High five for a rose. Hey, there we go. Quite a few different rose options. Just down there, you like them, don't you? Whispering I love Hills. A rose. Prosecco and sparkling down there. Da Luca, Prosecco. Very nice. And we got more non-alcoholic options there as well with the strawberry nojito, <laughs> bubblegum daiquiri, just two non-alcoholic cocktails. And of course you got the soft drinks, yeah we went for the classic diet coke, and that was 350, standard coke's 375, sprite 350, Fanta on there as well, appetizer, apple juice, pineapple juice, cranberry, large still water, Harrogate spring water, 385. I love that, the runaway lime train. Oh, and the kids' mocktails, 375. That's not bad for a kids' I mocktail. I love that. Runaway lime train, <laughs> rename coming up. Hot drinks are available as well. Latte, Americano, espresso, glass of milk, 215. There we go. And of course, you can view the allergy information if you want to on the details there as well. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to get some desserts ordered, aren't we? Yeah, let's, let's uh, get to the yeah, have a look through them. But that atmosphere is really nice in here tonight. Lovely. Very impressed with the service. They keep coming over and asking if everything's okay. And yeah, it's just lovely. Really enjoying it. Here we go. What have we got then on the uh, dessert options down here tonight? So, we've got salted caramel little moons waffle. 8.45. Truffle brownie tort. It's 8.45. New York style cheesecake. I love a good cheesecake. Caramel brownie. Oreo jars there. 
brownie jar. We saw someone have one. Yeah, and that looks quite good. It's pretty decent. Jelly jar. Giant <laughs> jelly snake. Fruit jar. Is this what it says? Yeah, it says strawberry jelly with a giant jelly snake. Fancy a giant jelly snake? <laughs> well, comment down below and let us know. And then you've got the allergy options just there for starters again. Oh, there we are. I thought we were going to go yeah, on. Ah, oh, the desserts. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see. So you're going to get one dessert. Ah, there we go. Yeah, the desserts at the bottom. I think they could do with another couple of dessert options for those with allergies. Um, there you go. You can see the different options. So we'll decide what we're going to have. We're going to send down here in the roller coaster restaurants. Lovely, can't believe it. Nice to be back in here again. Really good, very impressed. And what's also a nice touch here in roller coaster restaurant is when your food comes down, you get these with your seat number on. And then, of course, this one's for Rita, so it's the opening year 2005. And then you get the information down there as well. Originally dubbed the Queen of Speed, and in 2010, Rita was taken over by the Dark Forest. We've got these ordered then just over here as well. There we go. So we've gone for the truffle brownie torch, that's yours. And I've gone for the New York style vanilla cheesecake. Uh, and you can see with the discount brings it down to £13.12 for two desserts. Yeah, we'll get these coming down in just a moment. Lovely. Our desserts. This is the hardest bit, getting them off. <laughs> getting them off the track. <laughs> oh, Nemi. Right there, let's have a look at yours, Charlotte. There we go. It's not the best presented, but it has been through a loop. Yeah, I think it, it, that's how it's supposed to be. Like, you know, it's all supposed to be matched up, isn't it? Oh, this looks good. And the sauce is on the top. Would you yeah. prefer if it wasn't smashed up and it was just in whole, would you say? Or? Yeah, I think I would do. I think Wise, not the best, but it's all about how it tastes. That's the thing, it matches up in your mouth anyway, doesn't it? Oh, wow. What we got? Out of 10? 10. 10 out of 10. Oh, that's all the matter, that's good, isn't it? Here we go, and here's my cheesecake. Quite a decent portion there, as you can see, quite a nice slice of cheesecake. And here you've got the strawberry on the top, and then a couple of raspberries down there at the side. Long to oblivion. Surely this line needs to be orange though for oblivion. <laughs> I am loving the updated visuals though. Oh, I'll tell you what, really enjoying this dessert. Cheesecake is divine. I love a good New York cheesecake anyway. Yeah, this is lovely. This is also the third time that we've seen the show in here as well. So yeah, it's about every 20 minutes. We've been in here just over an hour. Um, yeah, third time seeing it, which is really good because the show just really kind of brings the experience all together here in the Royal Coaster restaurant. Lovely. Mm. Really nice. My desserts all done. Oh, it was so nice. I am absolutely stuffed now after that food. Are you, Charlotte? I am stuffed. I need to have a nice walk back to the car. To <laughs> it was lovely though, that was. Like, what a brilliant experience we've had here in the roller coaster restaurant. Fantastic. And just before we head outside, there's a look at the awesome model of Wicker Man up there on the wall as well. Fantastic. You can see Big Bob, the station, and all the track. And there's a look up at the loops just there as well. We're starting to get a bit of footage of them coming down here. Let's see if they uh, send anything down or not. Brilliant concept though, isn't it? And obviously the original one is in Germany at Europa Park. And yeah, we'll be back there in a few weeks. Food loop. And here we are then back outside. What's always quite funny is when you go in at ride clothes, like we went in at six o'clock, it's just gone 7.15. You go in, the park's still busy. Now look at it. <laughs> oh, it's empty. Oh, there we go. And yeah, they do put the uh, close that section off with the gates just over there to start you strolling up into the rest of the park. Yeah, it's quite nice actually down here on an evening. Interesting how they've got uh, one of the Nemesis trains parked up on the lift hill tonight. You can see that just over there. Obviously, doing some work somewhere down there. That's interesting. I mean, it would have been clear, I guess, quite a time ago now. Probably, you know, half hour, 45 minutes. Possibly even longer than that, depending on the queue time. Yeah, what a lovely experience. We've really enjoyed that tonight down here at the Alton Towers Resort Roller Coaster Restaurant. First visit in a couple of years. 
Right then, so we've made our way out of the roller coaster restaurants. Let's just kind of break it down into sections. Our experience tonight, starting off with the food quality. The food has been really good and portion size has been great. Sometimes you often wonder for the price you're paying, are you going to get a good portion size? But we did. We're stuffed. Yeah, I was really impressed, especially getting five of them chicken tenders. Uh, I didn't need five, but of course they were there and that was the good thing. Um, plenty of chips as well and the side of onion rings was really nice as well from my side. What I also like about the menu is the fact that they've done themed stuff. They haven't just done bog standard stuff. There's so much themed stuff on the menu, which is really nice to see. It's like a special touch to Alton Towers. And you enjoyed yours a lot, didn't you? Oh, that was so, so good. I really enjoyed that. The curry was just lovely. Oh, that's great. And yeah, the sauce on mine was really nice. It was very spicy. Uh, a lot of choices on the mains. That's the thing. We didn't know what was going to be on the menu tonight. They really need to update the website Definitely. and just have the full menu on there. And also out the front, I think they need one as well for in the daytime. Um, there's not many restaurants that you go to and don't have like uh, you know a menu board outside, so they could really do with that here uh, moving forwards. Uh, now, of course, you think about the overall experience in there with the lighting, the visuals, the concept art, the models on the walls. I mean, that's amazing, isn't it? It's excellent in there. It's just so photogenic. People see it and it's like, wow, I really want to go there it just looks so impressive yeah everyone's in there soaking up the atmosphere <laughs> i'm very impressed with the new audio it's like some dance mixes of the soundtracks some awesome new videos and of course the fully custom to roller coaster restaurant you know like them visuals in there and you can't see them anywhere else they're all kind of edited and mixed together just for the experience in there uh, so i thought that was really good and certainly enjoyed seeing that and all the updates uh, and then of course you go on to the main thing which is the cost isn't it really yeah so for the two of us it comes to 51 pounds that is with the discount included on there so really you break it down it's like 25 pound each really if you're going for a pub meal it would be that sort of price like we did have two yeah. drinks two start like two sides two mains and two desserts yeah so it's one of them it is quite expensive it is. but you are paying for the full experience and i think compared to some of the other prices um in the park alton towers especially like just chicken pizza and pasta i'd much rather go in here uh this was like four pounds more than pizza and pasta but you're getting a full themed experience you know uh, so i think it's definitely worth it for that uh, of course it's one of them you can spend as long as you want to really in there we was in there just another 90 minutes soak up the vibe it's not rushed to kind of get you out or anything and essentially you can just go for drinks or a light bite if you wanted to just have a cocktail and a dessert or a side of fries or something you know so um, you don't have to lock in with a full meal if you just want to go in there and you are on a budget and want the full experience but overall out of 10 i'd give it a good nine i think the only reason i wouldn't give it a 10 is of course the price but i don't feel like it's a rip-off either um you're getting a good overall experience and can we just say the service in there was excellent the person who was looking after our table she was so nice asking us about our day top-notch service yeah the staff were really good in there uh, and that really made it tonight which was great everyone was having a lovely time Lots. food was good great portions great atmosphere we'll definitely be back it won't be two years for our next visits to the roller coaster restaurant best food you can get at alton towers in my opinion of course thanks for joining us for another alton towers video here on the channel many more coming up and of course that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out, out there keep, keep on riding. riding goodbye